Hello, my name is Liam, and today I'm going to be talking about Season 2 of Red vs. Blue, uh, second season of the Blood Gold Chronicles. And at this point, they're still using the Halo 1 engine, you know, the Halo 1 game, to tell their story. Uh, I would say overall that I, you know, I enjoyed this I enjoyed this season this season a lot too. I think maybe I might have enjoyed season one a little bit more than this season. I I noticed that there were more funny lines, I would say, in season one. More fun more more funny moments in season one. Season one had had the benefit of introducing all these uh all these running jokes in season one. But there were still some very funny stuff in season one that I liked a lot. I mean, in season two that I liked a lot, uh, especially uh, all the scenes in Caboose's mind. I thought that was a very that that's a very funny joke. And Caboose's mental image of not only himself but the other people that he's stuck in the Blood Gulch with, and you know. We we get a little bit more of Vic in this season, who I th I think we only see only see briefly in season one. There is the introduction of Doc. Uh, the way he the way he interacts with the Reds and Blues, getting passed back and forth, you know, base to base. No one no one really wants him. Uh, it becomes a little bit of a running joke too. Characters uh, taking him for granted, not always remembering about him or caring where he is. We also uh, get to learn a little bit about O'Malley. Well, a little bit more about O'Malley. We still don't. We still don't know completely about him. We of course find out more about O'Malley later on. He was. Uh, briefly mentioned in season one, I think. Uh, there's a couple things that I f that I thought was interesting. Uh, the whole the whole run the whole gag about uh, Simmons becoming a cyborg with most of Simmons's body parts going to Griff. I. And of course, the fact that he will occasionally shoot himself in the leg. I thought that was funny. It'll be interesting rewatching this, seeing how long they keep that joke going, you know, when they'll reference it again. Especially that once they get out of the Blood Gulch Chronicles and start going into season six and later on the show becomes almost a little bit more serious and grounded while still being very humorous. Uh, I also really enjoyed towards the end the ironic scene where where they're all saying where, where they're all talking about things being ironic and then it cuts to like you know two hours later and they're still and they're still talking about ironic and I liked towards the end that they start introducing different maps going to different places leaving Blood Gulch. I mean, of course, you had the Sidewinder flashback in Season 1, which uh, Griff and Church returned to in, in the end of Season 2, but also in Season 2 earlier, they had the stuff in Caboose's mind was a different map. I think it was Hang 'em High. If I'm not mistaken, that might have been its Halo 2 name. I'm not exactly sure, but that was always that's always interesting to see him go to uh, other locations. I don't, and apparently Sidewinder isn't on the same planet as Blood Gulch. I, I guess that's its own separate planet. We learn that later on. So going forward, I want to see specifically which locations they can get to by traveling to see what is actually on 
this Blood Gulch planet and what's not on the Blood Gulch planet if Sidewinder is in fact its own different planet. Uh, there are some funny lines that I wanted to mention. Uh, very early on, the scene where Tucker is talking about Caboose behaving differently because Caboose is possessed by the O'Malley AI. Caboose has that line he says of, don't ever be alone. I, I always thought that was funny because it, you know, it's paralleling the very unserious nature of Caboose with this, you know, with this AI in him now. Uh, and then another Another line that I liked is Sarge's line of options are optional when they're talking about making all the make, about making the robots for them. I also liked in the scene where they are doing one of their surrenders, they always have a bunch of these weird surrender scenarios. They're at they they already negotiated to have Doc turned over as part of the surrender to the reds and now the blues are asking for something for the surrender and uh, Simmons has a line of you're surrendering you don't get anything besides humiliation and ridicule and Tucker replies back with uh, we already got that what else do you have I always like that line so just rewatching season two for me it brought up all these things that going forward I want to take note of you know for example this as I said before the Simmons being a cyborg and the other locations so I think that would be those are those are the main things not not the main things but some of the main things that I'm going to be looking looking for in future seasons when I do this rewatch so I think I think that's going to be about it for now and I'll See you later.